few weeks ago in my Sunday book stack, I talked about a student who was reading a mostly picture book, which he chose because it was a mostly picture book. And then on the day he finished, he admitted that the text was easy to read, but the images were hard. Which started a conversation both in the comments of that video and with my graduate students online who had just finished reading non-traditional text. And I would uh, like to continue that conversation today a little bit more specifically. See, I think that sometimes teachers take for granted that students interact with visual texts all the time. So we show them images and we show them video, but we don't talk about the construction of those texts or the choices that the photographers, directors, etc. make when they're constructing said text. Um, we use them to establish prior knowledge for students to connect to and kind of leave it at that. Partly probably because it takes time. So one of the standards that I like in Common Core is the one that asks students to critically analyze images and video in addition to traditional print text. And to do what I was talking about before, discuss how storytelling has to change from one medium to another. It's the type of discussion that I find incredibly interesting and that I've had um, each of the three times that I saw Catching Fire last week. And really it's one that, uh, particularly Catching Fire, is one that I would love to have with you guys in the comments. Um, I'll end my aside there because that was really an aside. Anyway, the most complicated visual text I've read recently was Chopsticks by Jessica Anthony and Rodrigo Corral. And I bring this up because a few of my students have picked it up off of my desk, were reading it, and proceeded to argue about what was actually happening in the story. It's the kind of story where the entire thing, um, it ha you have to critically read the images and infer characterization and plot, and it's hard. And it requires a different kind of close reading skills that I'm not entirely certain that we do a good job of teaching. So their reading prompted a discussion about how even they take visual images for granted, thinking that they're easier when they're just as complicated and complex as print text, though it's a different kind of complexity. So I've got a bunch of questions today, so take your pick and I'll put them all in the description box. Um, which is easier for you? Uh, print or image? And any thoughts on reading image-laden texts versus reading print-laden texts in the real world? And I'd like to take those answers back to my students. And finally, what kind of effect do you think programs like Instagram or, you know, the fact that social media and, and memes and whatnot are everywhere have on our opinions about reading images? Leave it in the comments, and I will see you there soon. Until then, I'm the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome. God and might be keen to build a town of green. A few weeks ago in my...